Hello and welcome to another video uh, on which we unbox and review Lego sets because, I mean, I have to buy a CD disc reader to be able to play any games on my computer right now. So yeah, today we are going to be reviewing this. Oh yes, set number 76956, 1212 pieces. It's an 18 plus set. It's a Jurassic Park set. So yeah, uh, it's called the T-Rex Breakout, which I'm a pretty big fan of because it has the original Jurassic Park characters and uh, it's, it shows the scene of when the T-Rex escapes its enclosure. So I'm excited to see that brick built T-Rex. The last set uh, I was reviewing was the Gigantosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack set. Uh, that one was today I released it, but it took a lot, a, a little while because, well, I mean, uh, something happened. I didn't have space on my phone, so yeah. So here's the front of the box. Let me move some of these model trains. So yeah, here's the front of the box, uh, here's the top, shows the characters, Doctor, uh, Doctor Ian Malcolm, Doctor Alan Grant on the left, so Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, I think that's Tim and that's Lex, but I don't remember, because those are kind of a minority until the second movie. Here's like a one-to-one -one picture. And now I will show you the right side. That's the right side. It's just got the name of the set. All around it's got this 18 plus Lego box style. Here's the back. It's got some measurements. So it's going to be 58.5 centimeters wide and 15.5 centimeters tall. So it's a pretty big set. Here's a picture of the movie actually really high definition for like a 1991 movie and then here's like the recreation in the uh, set not really the best but it's a brick built set so what do you want it's also a jurassic park set which i'm so happy it's just got all this jurassic park uh, logo everywhere i'm just a really big fan of it here yeah, so it shows the back uh here just another picture of it it's not going to show play features because this is an 18 plus set. Not for kids. Children aren't allowed to see this. So here's the left side. It's got that T-Rex head, which reminds me of the Dominion sets we've been reviewing. More logos, Lego and Jurassic Park. Here is the bottom. More logos. Uh, I guess copyright and stuff. Yeah. Also the Ford logo. I guess they had to get the Ford logo for that Ford Explorer. Because, yeah, legal stuff. I'm not into that stuff. So, yeah, let's get ready to build, I guess. Let's hope it doesn't take as long as the Giga set. Because that was like two hours and two minutes. So, yeah, pretty painful. So, let's see.
So, I have actually pushed this video back very far. It's now 2023, December. No, January 1st of 2023. So, technically, this is going to be the first ever video of 2023. <clears throat> which I was hoping it wouldn't. <laughs> but, oh well. So, I have finished the set uh, ages ago. So, first of all, I did want to show you the instructions because this is an 18 plus set i like the illustrated pictures everything those are most of the spare parts here's the back of the instructions it did come in one of those cardboard boxes with the stickers here's like history of the t-rex set right here like the designers picture from the movie more about the set And then like the actual instructions so yeah that's the instructions so here's the actual set which is pretty big it's about the same size as an architecture set but yeah it's definitely not as big as the gigantosaurus and the therizinosaurus attack set which we reviewed last year so yeah and i'm also feeling better uh <clears throat> So yeah, so here is the actual car, the Ford Explorer, has actual licensing at the back, some stickers, this is the number 5 one, it's got Jeff Goldblum inside, or Dr. Ian Malcolm, yeah, Dr. Ian Malcolm, sorry, got the actor mixed up, uh, so in there, there is the... I forgot the night vision goggles and the flashlight from the movie. And overall, it's a very nice little model. This took me about 41 minutes to make. So, yeah. Pretty hard, actually, to build this thing overall. Uh, no wonder why it's an 18 plus set. Never had one. Like, still didn't think it would be this pretty, this bad. So here's the actual T-Rex. Uh, it is fully poseable, and I actually really like that. So you can have a pose. I I'm like I'm I'm keeping it in this position because it's more accurate to the movie when it like roars at Alan. Uh, when he comes out of the car. Uh, here is I'm actually gonna take the T-Rex off. Because it's also connected to that. So yeah, it's fully posable. It's got mouth and head, neck, feet, tail, hands. Uh, posability. So behind there, uh, this car, which is actually just half of a Ford Explorer. Really like the build. Comes in, builds in three different segments. New piece inside there, never never seen that. So yeah, that's just half of a Ford Explorer and one wheel missing. So behind here is Lex and Tim, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's probably correct. So yeah, I also like that <clears throat> in this set, they have that one wheel missing its uh, tyre, because the T-Rex obviously ate that off. So yeah, and then behind all that, let's take these cars off, is the actual fence with stickers and these bendy wires, uh, if I can get one spare, because they do give you a spare one, uh, one of these bendy wires, never seen them, also don't really like them because they might deform over time because they're just dangling, as you can see, nothing supporting them but at one side, these little pieces here, little hooks, I might say. So yeah, that's the actual set. It, I mean, it is pretty large. Was expecting it to be large for eighty something pounds, but underneath here, there's an actual printed piece, Lego Jurassic Park, and also <clears throat> a quote: "Boy, do I hate being right all the time" by Ian Malcolm. Some people call him Jeff Goldblum, because that's the actor. So yeah, 
uh, that's this. I'll just put the Rex back on to its little feet things. So yeah, something like that. So it's staring at Alan. So yeah, that's the set. And I'm very happy. I would definitely recommend this. Not just because I am a humongous fan, as I can obviously t uh, say all the Jurassic Park movies and world movies off by my head. It might take a while, but yeah. Um, I might have a severe problem, but oh well, this was a Christmas present. So yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to unlock this in the uh, Lego instructions app, here it is. Scan that. Pause the video, scan it. I'm going to wait five hours because it does sometimes take a while uh, to actually scan the thing. But yeah, overall, I'm a very big fan of it uh, just because it's also a Jurassic Park set, which is the second one. next uh, This year, sorry, uh, they're planning to release some, a whole line of Jurassic Park sets. So I'm excited for that. Probably going to review them. Probably gonna rate this 10 out of 10. And um, if I do ever get those Jurassic Park sets, I'm gonna review them, rate them with this set, because it is a Jurassic Park set. There was a earlier Jurassic Park set, humongous gated arches, like the T-Rex the size of, like, what a lamp. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later, and a happy new year if you still celebrating it it's been like all day so yeah bye